That's good to know because I've been charging my pocket juice in my room. It's like a portable You don't charger. even need to. It's like right over there. And I didn't know we had that. So now <laughs> that I know that, I'm going to use my internet now, <laughs> blow up my phone battery, and then charge it later. Thank you, Maximilian. <laughs> Next match is coming up pretty soon, guys. You are watching CEO 2015. We are uh, in day two and beginning Mortal Kombat X pools this morning. You're going to be seeing a lot of different pool play throughout the entire day. Uh, we're going to get a couple couple hours of each game, and then you're going to see probably like five or six games leading up until the end where we have semifinals later tonight. Also, the uh, Capcom Fighter stream is happening right now as well if you want to watch some Street Fighter as well. And right now we've got Korn Alucard stepping up to the plate. So Alucard, who's he gonna use now? He, he's still repping Kotal. Is as he far really? As I know. Okay. From what I from what I was remembering, he was kind of roaming around a bit. You know, all the corn guys play a plethora of characters. That's yeah. just what oh, they yeah. do to level up. There's really not any one that like. There's no. There's no dupes. Like, they they just stick it out with like a unique kind of master the heck out of them. Right. Because they don't want to be caught by surprise by anything. But yep. for those who are not familiar with Corn Alucard, he is a top American Street Fighter player. He crossed over to MKX. He's really good in Injustice. He played Ares, but he quit the game early. Now he's back for MKX. He plays a sick Kotal Khan. He got third place at Combo Breaker, and he had a really tough road to get there. It was not free by any means. In terms of the characters that were available in Injustice, uh, Kotal and Ares probably share more similarities than probably any other but character between the one. two. Their jump ones. Yes. They have a couple of specials, like their leap specials are pretty similar so I would not be surprised if uh, if that's the big reason why he switched over Ares was also one of the least played characters in Injustice I swear like he had that really sweet unblockable setup really early on mm -hmm. and then I remember he got kind of nerfed pretty hard but he was cool looking nonetheless and Alucard is one of my favorites that are not Yomi and Sonic Fox to make top eight mm-hmm did a really good job at Combo Breaker. Oh, yeah. Combo Breaker was mostly because it was an exhibition of kind of the heart of MKX competitive mm -hmm. because Mortal Kombat, like, kind of was birthed in Chicago, and there's a whole bunch of guys that train around the area. It seems that, like, the, uh, that part of the country hosts, hosts the most NetherRealm players, and they all showed up, and there's a lot of them here at CEO as well. So we should get a pretty interesting MKX Finals. Yes, for those who are not familiar with Yomi, they are a professional gaming team. They're stationed in Atlanta. Uh, they have a weekly every Tuesday on twitch.tv slash Yomi underscore gaming. And like Maximilian said, they have the best, some of the best NRS players in the country. And they just play with, they just grind all day. They grind. All day, literally all day. It's not an exaggeration. It's tough. It's not hyperbole. It is super they tough to play. keep up with these guys because that's essentially what it comes down to within the early days of a fighting game is how much experience, how fast can you get it? Because right. after that six-month gap, you get enough experience, you know how to fight against every character. Then it becomes super mind gaming. It's just yeah. about knowing everything about your opponent. And they all play about five characters each to get matchup experience. They play about ten hours a day, mm -hmm. minimum. With That's the best players in the world, they're just naturally going to get better and create a skill gap. If any of you guys are out else. there and you want to become competitive, one of the things you need to do is not stick it with just one character in modern fighting games. It really helps to have a little bit of variety. That is correct. It'll uh, also make you a little bit better, in my opinion, too. Yes, sir. We got a button check right now. Ooh. And on the right, we've got Reno Rex, the president of Yomi. He's the one that makes all this possible. He gathers around all the top players, brings them to his station, his gaming center, and has them level up with each other and pays to have them driven around the country to attend all of these majors. And was it because he like worked for a company or was it just pure passion? Pure passion. He's That's got awesome. he's independently wealthy. That's awesome. He's using his own money to get all these guys out to tournaments. And he wants nothing back in return. Nothing. Well, he's doing a good job so far. These guys have kind of been kicking royal ass over the past three months, especially in MKX. Yes. He used to have a good Batman in Injustice. Um, he didn't play as much because he's really busy with his personal business. But now he's back for MK. He's taking it very seriously, um, especially for his team. That's good because MKX has really shined over the past few months as far as, like, People like concerned with Nether Realm games. Are they going to make it past the first couple of months? And MKX has shown that this game is interesting as heck, especially with the variation system, mm -hmm. and has made for some great matches over the past few tournaments. So here we go, Alucard versus Reno. Here we go. Now, Kush sitting next to Reno plays a really good Kotal Khan himself, and he's coaching Reno Rex to let him know what he needs to Ooh, save, one sudden save when he can press buttons, etc. Super meaty axe chuck. I really like it from Alucard. Almost intended that he was going to tech get up. 
something we have to recognize is Reno Rex is using Displacer instead of Thunder Guy. Yeah. Curious how that's going to affect his game plan. We haven't seen much of the Displacer variation yet, though. Displacer actually got buffed. Was that the one of the recent ones? Yes. Gotcha. Both Master of Storms and Displacer got buffed. I remember what happened to Sun God not too long ago. It did get buffed, but Alugard is playing War God. This one definitely the most popular of all the Total Con variations. Oh, yes, by far. By far. We, uh, Pig of the Hut and I had an argument like, which Total Con's better? And then yeah. Alucard, oh, I, it's War God. Yeah. We, we're sorry. We War God's also God. more fun, in all honesty. You don't like the grappler version? I think the grappler's good. It's got some. It's got some good damage. But man, chucking swords and like hacking them up. That's that's too. That you can't. You can't avoid that. You're right. And the plus 33. You just yeah, that run helps. Across the <laughs> Does I think something be over 30 plus. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's really high. Wow, neutral jump too. Just blew it up. He just needs a couple more pokes. Is Alucard gonna try? Doesn't have any armor yet. He could do it, but then he got nipple tickle. I like that. No deal. Like. There are times where you just got to use the bar to yep. ensure the win. You don't want to take chances in this game. Ooh, bubble One mistake gets you lose blocked. 30% or get put in a blender. He's getting the optimal combo as well, 41%. Without the use of the axe. Really short damage. Goes for the setup after. Yep. There's the down two. Wake up down two. Sometimes a very good idea. That. Oh, short confirmed. No meter to do anything about it. And, and that brutalities. Does. Yes. The brutalities right are locked. Right as his hat fell off. I am so sorry, Raiden. You ain't coming back in the next game. He's sitting in the sunlight. I totally got it wrong. I think it's Phil Lamar that does the voice of uh, Kotal. Cool. That is correct. Yeah, that's awesome, the man. The voice of Green Lantern and Aquaman. There we go. Reno making... Maybe a difference? Or a character switch? It doesn't look like it. Nope. He's sticking with him, getting some advice from Kush. Maybe he'll change up the game. I was thinking maybe he was going to make a difference between his variations, but no. So let's take it out with Displacer. He's sticking with Displacer because he likes to teleport. That is what he told me. Yep. A classic Raiden move, which is not available in one of the more popular Raiden variations. Here we go. Big combo damage in the corner, but slightly drops it, though. Ooh, Ooh the make it pizza. Yes, I love those chops. Uh oh, what Ooh, he avoided the armor to get out, but sadly couldn't get the combo. Oh, EX Sword. Alcard loves to do that. could be death. It is. Yep. Good. God, the damage on Total Con. Alucard doing a great job so far. Here we go. Corner Ooh, damage. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's burning. It's His like. Life is going away. It is. It's like Aaron Black's Caltrops. Except it comes from the sky. <laughs> wow, great teleport. I believe that was the uh, the meter burn version. Ow! Yep. I have not seen that in. used in a combo. Oh my gosh, I love we it. We got fatalities. Why did he do? He did the fatal, bro. He did it. He knows to please the stream. He is a fan favorite for a reason. Kotal Khan wins. <laughs> I won't lie. The, uh, the toothpaste fatality with Kotal Kahn, possibly one of my favorites Tooth in the whole game. Pace. Where it grabs you like, by it the stomach and just you and squeezes hugs you. you. The it's sounds that it makes, though. <laughs> it's so good. Ew. Disgusting, yet awesome. Indeed. I want to realize that Reno's using a hitbox. Primarily a hitbox player? Very interesting. Yeah. He used to use pad. He, he, he used pad, used pad okay. for injustice, so this surprises me as well. Hitbox does oh. work pretty dang good with the Netherrealm games. Right. Um, a lot of people are making the switch, especially Jax players. Oh, yeah. And why not? When Shoot. you use uh, heavy weapons, you, you need that precision. Yeah, those those cancels, you actually have to hit that stuff really tight. Yes. I was trying heavy weapons, Jax. Just, I, I randomly saw one of like Tyrant streams, and I'm like, I can do that stuff, and I'll give it a shot. And you try Ooh. to get like one of those dash forward rocket launcher cancels, and oh, my gosh, this is very difficult. Yeah. Anybody that can pull that stuff off, and especially in an online environment, it's it's impressive when you see it happen. Go for it. Cool. So here we go, guys. Also, another huge sponsor of local fighting game tournaments and CEO is Hori with their RAP Premium Vulix. This is the uh, Pro Point Four Premium Arcade Stick and uh, is available exclusively right now on Hori's website and ArcadeShock.com. Check it out, guys.
Match is coming up right now. Who is Looks his like opponent? Pig is going to be playing M. Lorenzo. Interesting. I'm not familiar with him. Yeah. Maybe we'll learn something today. He's but wearing a he's wearing a Firefox web browser T-shirt. I do I do like it. Wait a minute, he looks familiar. That's the guy that beat me in the team tournament. I think with Aaron Black, marksman. Son of a mother. That bastard. <laughs> so now that now that Kenshi's had his uh, his variation adjustments, where has Pig been lying his uh, allegiance with on the variation? I don't think he it's doesn't have be an allegiance. He uses all of them. Is he really using However, all of them right now? His favorite is balanced. Yeah.